Hi everyone, myself Yoginder Jalal and I am back with some other ethical hacking interview question that you might encounter. The very first question the interviewer can ask is, what is the purpose of cryptography and in information security? So, cryptography involves the use of mathematical algorithms to encode and decode the data and ensure its confidentiality, integrity and authenticity. It serves as a crucial tool in information security in safeguarding our sensitive information from unauthorized access and theft. The primary purpose of your cryptography in information security are your confidentiality. By converting sensitive information into an unreadable form, the cryptography ensures its confidentiality. Even if the data is intercepted, it will be remaining uncomprehensible without the appropriate decryption key. Then second we are having your integrity. So cryptography verifies the data integrity by detecting any alteration or modification during transmission. This ensures that the data remains unchanged and unaltered in transit. Then third we are having your authentication. Cryptography authenticates the identity of individuals and devices which are involved in your communication, impersonation attempts, right? So only the authorized individuals and devices can access sensitive information. Along with that, the cryptography, it can be used at different layers of the communication stack, including at the application layer, transport layer and the network layer and it is used in a wide range of applications such as your secure email and file transfer, secure web browsing, your secure payment transaction and secure storage of sensitive information. Then we are having the second question which is, is it possible to hack in a system without using any tool? So when we think about the hacking, the image that often comes to our mind is that a skilled individual utilizing sophisticated tools and softwares to infiltrate computer system. However, the reality is that hacking without tools commonly known as your social engineering, which is a covert and equally dangerous technique employed by the cyber attackers. So social engineering is a form of manipulation that relies on human interaction rather than your technical expertise. The skilled social engineers, they will be exploiting a human psychology, trust and naivety to deceive individuals into revealing sensitive information and providing unauthorized access or compromising security protocols. By understanding human behavior, social engineers bypass technological barriers, making their attacks challenging to detect and defend against. Then we are having types of social engineering attack which will be involving your phishing. Phishing attacks involve sending deceptive emails, messages or phone calls impersonating trusted entities to trick users into sharing personal information, passwords or login credentials. Then your pretexting. In pretexting, attackers create fictional scenarios or elaborate lies to gain targets trust and extract sensitive information or access rights. Then we are also having your baiting. So in baiting, attackers tempt users with attractive offers such as free software or flies to entice them into unknowingly downloading malware or providing login credentials. Then we are also having your impersonation. So in impersonation, the social engineers pose as a authority figures your IT personals, your service providers to trick victims into divulging sensitive information or granting access. Then we are having your dumpster dive. So in this, the attacker scout through discarded materials such as printed documents or hardware to find valuable information that can be used for further exploitation. Then we are having your third question which is what is data leakage and how can it be detected and prevented? Data leakage refers to unauthorized and unlawful disclosure of sensitive information or data from a company or organization. It can occur through various means such as your unauthorized emails, physical prints or lost laptops. 
Detecting and preventing data leakages is crucial to safeguarding sensitive data and maintaining data privacy. To detect and prevent data leakage, several controls and measures can be implemented like access control. Implementing strict access control to limit access to sensitive data only to authorized peoples using role-based access to ensure that employees can only access the data necessary for their job responsibilities. Then we are also having your data encryption. So utilizing robust encryption methods to protect data both in transit and at rest. So encryption will be helping us to ensure that even if the data is intercepted, it will be remaining unreadable without the appropriate decryption key. We can also use your network monitoring. So deploying intrusion detection system and your intrusion prevention system to monitor network traffic for any suspicious activities or data exfiltration attempts. Then we are also having your data loss prevention solution, your DLP. Implementing DLP solutions to monitor and control the movement of sensitive data within the organization. The DLP tools, they can also identify and block attempts to transfer sensitive data outside the company network. Then we are also having your email security. Using email security measures such as your spam filters, anti-phishing solution and your email encryption to prevent unauthorized data leakage through email channels. We can also ensure that all the endpoint devices such as our laptops, mobile devices are equipped with security software including your antivirus and endpoint protections to prevent data leaks from lost or stolen devices. Along with that we can also implement secure file sharing solution which will be requiring a user to authenticate and access control. Along with that, developing a comprehensive incident response plan is a very good strategy which will be helping us to quickly detect, respond and to mitigate the data leakage incident whenever they will be occurring. So by combining these measures and adopting a proactive approach to data protection, organizations can significantly reduce the risk of data leakage and protect sensitive information from falling into the wrong hands. Data leakage prevention is an ongoing process that will be requiring a continuous monitoring, evaluation and improvements to stay ahead of evolving cyber threats. Then we are having the next question which is explain sniffing. Sniffing is a technique employed in ethical hacking to observe and capture all data packets traveling through a specific network and sniffers they will be serving the purpose of monitoring and troubleshooting the network traffic and their implementation right so this is all we have to discuss today see you next time with more exciting interview questions and trending topics take care and have a wonderful day